Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Yan, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about solving rational equations. We're going to solve each equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this problem, 3x squared plus 24x plus 48 over x squared plus a x minus 6 over 2x squared and that's equal to 1 over x squared. Okay. Well, one thing we want to have is a common denominator across the board here. So my first step to do that, I see there's a 2x squared here, and then x squared, and x squared. So if I multiply this one in the right here by 2 over 2, its denominator will be 2x squared. Same thing over here. Multiply this one by 2 over 2, denominator becomes 2x squared. So from there, multiply that out, right? And I'm actually going to when I do that, the denominator, we write as really just one big denominator now, 2x squared. We have 2x squared here. Distribute this 2, though, of the numerator across. So 2 times 3x squared is 6x squared. 2 times 24 would be a 48x. And then 2 times 48 is a good old 96. Make sure we add the other 2 plus x minus 6. And that's equal to here 2 over 2x squared. Alright, now I'm going to do a few steps and kind of 1 here. I'm going to multiply this denominator and it's like cross multiplication but I'm only going to bring this side over here. And really what we can see hopefully in the next step is that that's going to cancel out with this denominator. So up here let's simplify what we can. 6x squared and then 48 plus x is a 49, x, and then 96 minus 6 is a 90. So you have 90 here. And that's equal to, just to show you, 2 times 2x squared over 2x squared. Now these will cancel, and I kind of planned that ahead of time where I wanted to go with it. So now we have 6x squared plus 49x, oh, plus sign, plus 90 equals 2. Subtract 2 to both sides. And we have 6x squared plus 49x plus 88 equals 0. Now, this does factor. You could solve many ways of factoring, graphing, um, quadratic formula, but this will factor to be 3x plus 8 times 2x plus 11. Alright, so now we can set each one equal to 0 and solve for x. So we do that, we have this room here 3x plus 8 equals 0 and 2x plus 11 equals 0. Subtract 8 to both sides, 3x equals negative 8, and divide 3 both sides, x is a negative 8 thirds. Okay, same thing here, subtract 11 to both sides. Well, I'm kind of showing my work there, but I uh, don't need to. So 2x equals negative 11. Divide both sides by 2, and x is a negative 11 halves. So we have our two numbers there, and they tell us that we need to check that. Check for extraneous solutions. So all we're really going to do here is take my original equation, and for each one, and Instead of x, we're going to put in the value and see if the left and right hand side are equal. So, first part here 3 times negative 8 thirds squared plus 24 negative 8 thirds plus 48 over a negative 8 thirds, that's me squared, plus a negative 8 thirds minus 6 over 2 times a negative 8 thirds squared is equal to 1 over a negative 8 thirds. All right. So again, we're going to see if the left and right hand side are equal. If they are, this is a true solution. So keep going here. Let's simplify. I'm going to do all kind of 
one, actually, so I'm running out of space, so all one step here, this whole numerator. So we have three times the negative eight thirds squared plus 24 times the negative eight thirds plus 48. That's like 5.3 repeating, and that's going to be divided by negative 8 thirds squared. And this as a fraction is just good old 3 fourths. Pretty simple. <laughs> Plus negative 8 thirds minus 6. Calculators are wonderful things. Divided by 2 times a negative 8 thirds again squared. And this as a fraction is negative 39 over 64. And what's 1 divided by negative 8 thirds? Oh, negative 3 eighths. Yeah, negative 3 eighths. Add these two fractions. 3 fourths plus a negative 39 divided by 64. And I got something slightly off. I got 9 64. So I'm actually going to double check my work here. Something might have been off. I think it's this one. So it's always good to double check when this doesn't happen first. Don't assume you always got it wrong. All right, divided by two times negative eight thirds squared. Oh. I wonder if that was it. Hmm, that's right. Aha, uh -huh, I see what I did. I didn't square that, see? So I always look through, I realized, I looked back here, I forgot to square that, so that's what happened here. Okay, so let's double check that, so erase this. So we have a one divided by negative eight thirds. That's a y, one divided by negative eight thirds. And make sure we square the denominator. Uh -huh, this fraction here is a nine sixty-fourths. So let's go add these two together now. Three fourths plus a negative thirty-nine divided by sixty-four. And here we got it. As a fraction, we have nine over sixty-four. So the left and right hand side are equal. So one thing, you note know, here, you see I made a mistake, right? But I just forgot the little squared. Instead of going back and trying to restart everything, just kind of double check this part. You might have made a silly mistake, like I did, forgetting the square. Okay? Well, we have two numbers, so this one we know works, so we have to check the other one. So uh, we know x will equal a negative 8 thirds. Let's double check the other one. So the other check here is negative 11 halves, same process. 3 times the negative 11 halves squared plus 24 times the negative 11 halves plus 48 over negative 11 halves squared. Oops, let me give myself a little room here. Plus negative 11 halves minus 6 over 2 times negative 11 halves squared. And that's going to equal 1 over negative 11 halves squared. So again, for every x value, we're putting negative 11 halves. Don't forget the squared there. So let's see if the left and right hand side are equal again. This part here, let's do it once. 3 times negative 11 halves squared plus 24 times negative 11 halves plus 48. And that is 6.75. And then we're dividing that by negative 11 halves squared. And that as a fraction is 27 over 121. This next part here, negative 11 halves minus 6 divided by 2 times the negative 11 halves squared. And, oops, that's an extra parenthesis. You don't need that there. Okay. And this as a fraction is negative 23 over 121. And one clue I see here is they're both 121 denominator. Probably is right as I typed it in, but that's a common mistake is typing it wrong. All right, right hand side, 1 divided by negative 11 halves. Make sure we square it. And that as a fraction is 4 over 121. And we can see that, right, same denominator. Uh, subtract the numerators, 27 minus 23 or plus a negative 23 is 4. 
So you have 4 over 121 equals 4 over 121. So negative 11 halves is a solution. And so my final answers here are x equals negative 8 thirds and x equals a negative 11 halves. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.